Hey y'all, this is your girl Tashi and I'm back with another video. Yes, another video. So this one is 25 traditions that are totally normal in other countries. Uh, I don't know, well let's get straight to the video. You will let me know. If you're from any of these countries and you think it's true or not, you gotta comment below and let your girl know. So uh, yeah, let's get straight to the video. <laughs> So what would you do if you walked into a bathroom and instead of toilet paper, you found a bowl of water and no instructions either? Or what if warding off bad luck meant talking to birds at the park? Sure, these things may seem wacky to you, but they're pretty normal customs in other countries. And some actually sound pretty fun. Counting down from number 25. If you ever find yourself in the Spanish town of Buñol at the end of August, Buñol. I sure hope you brought some protective gear, that is, if you happen to catch La Tomatina, a massive one-day light-hearted food fight with none other than the beloved tomato. Or tomato. Yep, thousands of people, thousands of tomatoes. You do the math. And what? don't forget to dock. I mean, that seems fun, but damn, that's a waste of a lot of tomatoes. You know how much tomato costs here in New York? T tomatoes are not cheap. It's really not that cheap. So, if I go there, I'm gonna cut me a whole bunch of tomato. I'm taking it back home. Number 24. Happy birthday. Now, shove your face in this cake. Is something you might hear in Mexico. Here, as you oh, yeah. get handed your birthday cake and are about to take that first delicious bite, someone will likely push your face right into it. Oh, you see that no. at U.S. weddings a lot these days. Just a waste of good cake to me. Yeah. It's a waste. Number 23. In Germany, if you're 25 and single, your friends will often lead you to your birthday party with a string of old socks as you celebrate with drinks. Well, what? I sure hope they wash those socks beforehand. Ew. Number 22. In the States... Pull my finger is a risky and smelly game. But in Scandinavia, Austria, and Bavaria, Germany, finger pulling or finger hockling is a competitive sport. What? Not really? Competitors will often even pull each other across the table with their middle fingers because they're pulling so hard. Now, are we sure it's not that the guy is being jet propelled across the table? Number 21. If you're going on vacation and want to leave with as many good vibes as possible, sit down with your household first before you head out the door. In Russia, they believe that doing this ensures you have a good trip and wards off bad luck. Speaking of which… Number 20. If you're taking a walk in the park in the UK, you might spot a gentleman tip his hat to a magpie. That's because in British folklore, these little birds are bad omens. But if you tip your hat to it and say, Good morning, Mr. Magpie, and how is your lady wife today? You'll reverse your bad luck. The bad British accent is optional. <laughs> Number 19. In Denmark, if it's your 25th birthday or higher and you're still single, your friends and family throw handfuls of cinnamon at you. The odd tradition is based on history That's mean. that way back in the 16th century, Danish spice merchants used to stay unmarried because they were too busy traveling around the world. You know, trying to spice things up. Number 18. Roses are red, violets are blue. But give someone yellow roses in Mexico and it's goodbye to you. <laughs> That's because in this country, yellow roses signify death. Ooh. Oh. If you're gifting someone a bouquet for their birthday or anniversary, you better stick with a good old dozen red roses. Number 17. If you were to spit at your boss or a family member when you greeted them, it'd be considered pretty darn rude. But in the Maasai tribe in Kenya and northern Tanzania, spitting into their hands before a handshake is considered appropriate and respectful. This is often the way people in the tribe wish each other good luck and safe travels. It's even done at weddings. So imagine spitting on the bride as a good gesture. It's also how they secure a deal. Put her right there. Yeah, that'll take some getting used to. Number 16. You might gift newlyweds with some sparkling new china. But in Germany, family and friends actually break dishes the night before a wedding. 
Doing this tradition, known as Polter Abend, is believed to bring good luck to the couple, who are expected to clean the mess up and learn how to work together. And if not, there'll be more dish breaking later on down the road. What? Number 15. Wow. In Venezuela, the early bird doesn't necessarily get the worm. There, running late isn't a problem the way it is in the US and other countries. When it comes to parties or even work meetings, arriving a few minutes late isn't considered rude. Alright, I'll be booking my ticket now. Number 14. Alright, you didn't think I wasn't gonna include something strange from the US, did you? How about donning top hats and looking at a groundhog named Punxsutawney Phil to tell us if spring is here or not? The groundhog tradition goes back to February 2nd, 1887. Mm, you know, well, before we know had advanced far. meteorology to really goof up the forecast? Well, in any case, if this furry ground dweller sees his shadow, that supposedly means six more months of winter. Number 13. If you want to stand out as a single person, you'll love the French celebration of St. Catherine's Day or the patron saint of unmarried women. On this day in November, bachelorettes aged 25 or older rock green or yellow hats to celebrate the single life. Hey, what's up with 25? It's always 25. Yeah, Is that why? the deadline or something? Yeah. Well, probably long, long ago when life expectancy was like 28, they didn't want you to keep dilly-dallying or something, I guess. Number 12. Who needs noisemakers and champagne when you can just throw your furniture out the window to ring in the new year? In South Africa, the tradition of chucking chairs, tables, and whatever furniture out the window onto the street for the new year has been going strong since the end of apartheid. This symbolizes the act of ridding your home of past sorrows, so that you can make room for happier, more hopeful times. You know, if they started doing that in Times Square in New York, I think I'd watch. From a what? distance. He said from a distance. Number 11. And if you thought throwing your furniture out the window was strange, you'll definitely be scratching your head at the South American tradition of carrying around an empty suitcase for the new year. By walking a block with the empty luggage, you're supposed to bring hope and new adventure into the upcoming year, and hopefully a nice vacation so that you can actually put stuff in that suitcase. Mm. Number 10. Makes sense. <laughs> Business meetings in the office can be so stuffy and boring. So why not head to the sauna with your boss and co-workers? Well, that's how they do it in Finland, where the sauna serves as a perfectly good spot to hold meetings and other important gatherings in the professional space. What? But you'll probably want to remember your robe in there. Yeah. Number 9. Even if you're naturally a lefty, using this hand is considered pretty rude in a lot of Middle Eastern countries. What? This is because the left hand is the designated cleaning hand in the bathroom, and therefore, it's the dirty one. The right hand is supposed to be used during meals and for shaking people's hands. And since we're on the topic of bathroom duties… Number 8. If your biggest fear is doing your business in a restroom that's run out of toilet paper, well, you might have some problems when visiting India. That's because in most parts of this country, instead of toilet paper, people use water to cleanse their uh, private areas. It may sound odd to Westerners, but at least they don't have to worry about clogging up the plumbing as much, right? Okay, there's still a question for me as to what you ultimately do to clean up, but I guess we'll leave that to the imagination. Yeah. Or let me know down in the comments if you know the answer. Number 7. In Thailand, there are tons of stray monkeys hanging around. And once a year in Lopuri, Bangkok, people dump over 6,600 pounds of fruits and veggies out for the little guys to munch on in what's referred to as the Monkey Buffet Festival. <laughs> I'll bet they go ape over it. Ah, oh, you could see that one coming, couldn't you? Number 6. When you think of a wedding, you probably imagine fun, laughter, and celebration and lots of cake in the face. But in China, a traditional wedding is preceded by the bride crying a month before her big day. Aww. After a few days, she's joined by her mother, grandmother, and other family members. What's up with that? But here's the thing. 
this month-long cry sesh is to show joy for her future marriage. Okay? <laughs> Number 5. In America and in lots of other countries, it's typical to clink glasses before drinking. But in Hungary, no one clinks glasses at bars or around the dinner table. Ever since the Austrians defeated the Hungarians during the revolution and celebrated by clinking their glasses, the Hungarians swore off this tradition. So I'm thinking, if they do it anyways, do they then get thrown in the clink? Hey, it was worth a shot. Number 4. While we consider it bad luck to see the bride before the big day, people in Taidong, Indonesia, believe using the toilet three days after the wedding is bad luck. Family members typically watch over the newlyweds to make sure they don't use the bathroom at all. Gee, I wonder how many of them explode. So then I guess it's really like a race to see who passes first, the newlyweds what? or the three days. Where do they come up with this? For real! Number 3. Americans are used to having copious amounts of ice in their drinks. But in many places in Europe, having little or no ice at all is the norm. If you're dining in these places, you need to ask for extra ice. Otherwise, you'll have to enjoy your Coke at room temperature. Oh, the horror! Number 2. If you ever visit Fiji, you'll likely be greeted by a cocktail containing juice from squeezed roots served in a wooden bowl known as kava. And apparently it has, shall we say, psychoactive effects. Uh-huh. So, uh, you might want to go easy on the kava or yeah. just grab a lemonade instead. I grab a lemonade. And finally, number one, speaking of cheesy, in Gloucester, England, on the last Monday of May, a giant wheel of double Gloucester cheese is pushed down Cooper's Hill while spectators are encouraged to chase it. What? Whoever catches it, it doesn't fall flat on their face, gets to take the cheese wheel home. Why? And I'm thinking, what if the out-of-control cheese wheel takes out a sidewalk full of spectators? Then it's just a cheesy way to go, I guess. Well, what can I add to that? Do you know any other customs that might seem odd to outsiders? Yes, I need y'all to comment below. Do you agree with this in your country? Do you agree, like, or is this something he is? Yeah, I used to do this. Yeah, I don't do it anymore. Or do y'all still do these type of things? Do you believe in some of these things? Some of them was kind of. We of course, I'm you know from here, so of course to me it's gonna be, it's gonna be weird, you know. But uh, yeah, I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm just curious about this one. What, what country that was? The one where you can't use the bathroom until you get to... You can't use the bathroom for three days before you get married? That That is definitely weird. I don't know how true that one is. Mm. <laughs> but anyway, make sure you check these videos out that I have. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, I see you lovely people. Take care. <laughs> Peace.